Hanak Enoch 83. And now I have shown you, my son Methuselah, every sight which I saw prior to your birth. I will relate another vision, which I saw before I was married. They resemble each other. The first was when I was learning a sefer, and the other before I was married to your mother. I saw a potent vision, and on account of these things besought Yahuwah. I was lying down in the house of my grandfather, Malal El. I saw in a vision heaven thrown down and removed. And when it fell upon the earth, I saw likewise the earth absorbed by a great abyss and mountains suspended over mountains. Hills were sinking upon hills. Lofty trees were gliding off from their trunks and were in the act of being projected and of sinking into the abyss. And at these things, the world fell down in my mouth. I cried out and said, The earth is destroyed. Then my grandfather, Malalel, raised me up and said to me, Why do you thus cry out, my son? And wherefore thus do you lament? I related to him the whole vision which I had seen. He said to me, Confirmed is that which you have seen, my son. And potent the vision of your dream, respecting every secret sin of the earth. Its substance shall sink into the abyss, and a great destruction take place. Now, my son, rise up and beseech Yahuwah of glory, for you are faithful that a remnant may be left upon earth, and that he would not wholly destroy it. My son, all this calamity upon earth comes down from heaven. Upon earth shall there be a great destruction. Then I arose, prayed and entreated, and wrote down my prayer for the generations of the world, explaining everything to my son, Methuselah. When I went down below, and looking up to heaven, beheld the sun proceeding from the east, the moon descending to the west, a few stars, and everything which Elohim has known from the beginning, I blessed Yahuwah of judgment and magnified him because he has set forth the sun from the windows of the east that ascending and rising in the face of heaven, it might spring up and pursue the path which has been pointed out to it.